Hello guys, Omni here. There's been a rumor circulating the internet here recently that I wanted to just kind of uh, present to you guys and gauge your thoughts and your reactions, your temperament on the whole situation, should it turn out to be true. And we talked about it very briefly on my recent reaction to Star Wars The Clone Wars this last week's episode. And that, if you're picking up the clues, this of course is the rumor that Rosario Dawson has been cast as a live action Ahsoka Tano for the next upcoming season two of The Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus. Now, again, I'm going to reiterate, these are purely rumor mill. As far as I know, the sources have not been defined or clarified, and there's been no official source or corroboration made to back this up. This is purely speculation. This is purely someone stirring up the rumor mill, unless it turns out to be true. That being said, we're just going to play around with it a little bit. Now, I am a fan of Rosario Dawson, at least as a performer. The first time I kind of come across her was back in Clerks 2. I really enjoyed her, the way she played into that, the chemistry she had with the team, the fun she had with it. And, you know, I hadn't seen anything she's been prior to that, but I thought she had a lot of charisma and air that she brought to the run, role that made it a lot of fun. And throughout the year, she's made a couple appearances every now and then, just kind of showing up, popping up in a lot of things. Here, most recently in Jay and Silent Bob Reboot, as well as Zombieland Double Tap, and probably more widely known as Claire Temple in the Netflix Marvel television shows. She made a lot of appearances in that as a core character of that series. And she does have a lot of charm. She does bring a lot of charisma and heart to these roles, and as well as a little bit of a weight. I haven't seen anything where she's done a lot of action, which would be necessary if she does return and take the stage as this character. Um, so I'm not sure how that would carry over. I think if we, there's been some fan edits and whatnot on the internet of her in the uh, prosthetics and the makeup, CGI to digital Photoshop to look like Ahsoka Tano, and the look is there. Um, but that being said, there has been a little bit of an outcry from others in the community for Ashley Eckstein, who is the voice actress of Ahsoka in the animated series. And Ashley Eckstein could easily look the part. She is the voice. She already knows the character. She has been in this character's head and lived in it. That being said, she is a voice actress. I'm not sure, and this is purely just my ignorance. I don't know if she's done live action work, if she's done on camera work. Um, again, that's on me. I haven't done any of that research going into this. So I don't know what she could bring onto the stage for that. So it's a completely different thing to act with just your voice than to have to use your entire body. Um, there's, I think there's a fine line between people who can kind of maneuver both between live action and behind the camera voice acting work and make it work and feel natural and uh, kind of give the effect that we're all trying to get when and they get invested in these characters. So I don't know one way or the other. I would love it. I mean, me as a purist, I would really much enjoy Ashley Eckstein to be on the stage and be able to bring Ahsoka to life because Ahsoka has been her character. That has been a creation of hers between George Lucas, Dave Filoni, and her performances have created this character. But then again, that's not really up to them. The, the, again, live action is a whole other beast. And Ashley Heckstein herself has even addressed this recent rumor, saying nobody's talked to her about this, nobody's addressed it, she's heard nothing about this. If there has been talks, nobody's talked to her about it. And if Rosario Dawson had been cast, she wished her all the luck in the role. You know, taking the high road and the more, the, like, just like taking it like a champ. And that being said, I don't know. It's not confirmed. As far as we know, this has not been a thing. Um, Ahsoka would be well in her 40s at this point in her life. So, I mean, she very much would still be alive at the time frame that The Mandalorian takes place, barring any unnatural events that may have happened along the way. The last time we saw Ahsoka was in Rebels. And then you have the argument of where she been throughout the entirety of the original trilogy. How come she wasn't stay doing anything or getting involved once they heard this Jedi was roaming around fighting the Empire? Um, lots of things you could kind of go into there, the headcanon you can kind of create, what she'd been doing up to that point. She does appear as a voice in The Rise of the Skywalker, whether you can consider that part of this canon or not. She does make an appearance, at least as a voice through the Force in that. So... And Dave Filoni did kind of take a kind of stab at that. And he was like, ah, you know, just cause she's the voice doesn't mean she's dead. So I don't know. She would, if she survived up until 
the recent sequel trilogy, she would be in her 60s, which is very viable. I don't know what the expected lifespan of a, of a Targruta is, but she very likely could just still be alive. So I want to pose a question to you guys. Out of these two, who would you prefer to take the stage, to take the screen as Ahsoka Tano? And if you have another suggestion, leave a thought down in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts. Who would be your perfect choice to play Ahsoka if they were to bring the character to live action? Let me know down in the comments below. Let's carry on that conversation after the video. And if you like this video, support the channel by liking, commenting, subscribing. And as always, guys, I really appreciate all of you who tune in. I hope you all are staying safe and taking care of yourselves during this whole crisis. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate and adore you all. I hope to have this conversation here after this video. But that'll be it for this one. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And as always, when we talk about Star Wars, may the Force be with you always. Take care, everybody.